Are you ready for some exciting news? Tesla is expanding its range of vehicles with the Model V, a new concept that will blow your mind. Tesla's not resting on its laurels, but rather pushing the boundaries of innovation and sustainability in the automotive industry. With a global market share of 15% in electric vehicles, Tesla is leading the way to a greener future. But what is the Model V, and how will it change the game for Tesla? Stay tuned to find out more on Tesla Car World. Hello, and welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest updates on everything Tesla. If you love Teslas as much as we do, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Trust us, you don't want to miss this one. Tesla has almost single-handedly proven that electric vehicles are the way to go that combines design, high technology, great performance, and practical driving range. Although we have a wide variety of Tesla vehicles to choose from, there's still another one that Tesla has conceptualized in their master plan. But how much will the sticker price be for the Model V when it's out in the market finally? Witnessing the weakness in sales of the Roadster right from the start, it seems that later Teslas have aimed for a breakthrough in production costs to provide affordable car models to customers. It's a strategy that emerging car manufacturers should certainly adopt, focusing on core products. If you've got the need for speed, you'll likely be excited about the Model V, which is priced under $40,000 as part of the plan to introduce affordable electric cars. It's a sports sedan, yet it can also be considered a coupe, much like the BMW i4 Grand Coupe. The i4, a newly released all-electric car from BMW, starts at $52,200 US, making a notable impact on the US market. However, in China, the net Meta GT by Hozon is causing a stir in the sports coupe category, with a $25,000 price tag promising an exhilarating driving experience. When comparing electric car prices across the market with Tesla's product lines, Tesla often stands as a benchmark, allowing predictions of their price ranges before release. In China, manufacturers excel in building and producing affordable cars, leveraging significant advancements in battery technology, particularly the technological advancements in battery production achieved by world-leading battery manufacturer CATL in recent years play a pivotal role. While traditional car manufacturers are in the transitional phase of electrification, they are introducing models that are slightly more expensive than Tesla's. This move comes as they enter the market during the shift toward electrification. When positioning Tesla amidst their market competitors, the stark differences in production costs and technological advancements equipped in their product lines become apparent. For instance, the Model Y in the US market starts at $43,990 and is integrated with the Tesla Vision technology, laying the groundwork for potential full self-driving capabilities in the future. Comparatively, the Volvo C40, positioned as a rival to the Tesla Model Y within the mid-range SUV segment, starts at $56,395. However, its performance falls short and doesn't measure up to Tesla's standards in this regard. In the Chinese market, the BYD Song L offers a more affordable SUV model starting at $34,100, significantly lower in price. However, the performance it delivers is something to consider. The cost to produce the Model V coupe below $40,000 aligns well with Tesla's initial plans and strategies. This new product line promises to bring Tesla customers an exciting experience, but first we need to have a quick look at the overall design of this car. At a glance, what immediately pops out on a Model V? Famous for their uniquely designed futuristic products, Tesla is set to introduce a spacious and practical four-door coupe to the market, a departure from previous models that emphasized storage in the front and trunk. Traditional coupe designs often compromise on storage space, and the rear passenger seats tend to be a bit snug and elegant, which basically means they are somewhat small and cramped. 
However, the new design of the Model V will retain the extended sloping roofline all the way to the rear, providing a sporty feel, and notably enhancing the car's aerodynamics. With its four-door design, the interior space will be improved, giving occupants a feeling akin to sitting in a large SUV. Compared to the BMW i4, an all-electric car with a length of 188.5 inches or the Porsche Taycan four-door with a length of 195 inches, the four-door coupe designs seem to create a significantly spacious interior, a highlight of the overall design of this Model V. The Model V's body tends to slope downward at the front and gradually rises towards the rear while still maintaining a curved structure, aiding Tesla in addressing aerodynamic issues, particularly concerning the C-pillar which is at the rear of the car. To simplify aerodynamic concerns, let's move to the rear of the model. It seems to make a significant impression with its slight upward tilt, creating an intersection point with the tail of the car. The splitter bars at the bottom manage and split the splitter bars at the bottom manage and split airflow, much like how other hypersport models such as the Koenigsegg Gemera or Bugatti La Vatour Noir function. Pardon my French. When these elements are combined, the result achieved by the Model V seems to essentially split and then rejoin the airflow at the C-pillar. When observing the daytime running lights, they evoke a hint of the front air vent of the Model X, an expanded version of the air vent, but in this case, it precisely represents the daytime running lights with sharp V-shaped lines resembling slightly triangular future trends. In the Model 3 Highland, the daytime running lights are designed within the headlight assembly. To put it in perspective, we could draw a comparison with the design of the Lycan Hypersport. Instead of an air vent, Tesla has created an elongated daytime running light strip that envelops the headlight just below it. The air vent is mostly strung underneath the headlights, providing airflow and cooling to a highly efficient motor within. But did you know that from the beginning, Tesla intended to remove traditional mirrors from the original Cybertruck prototype back into 2019. However, some challenges concerning traffic safety regulations and environmental factors might affect the viability of using camera mirrors. Until the Model V establishes its place in the market, we believe Tesla will replace mirrors with camera bars right at the location of the traditional mirrors. This change could prevent certain environmental impacts such as mud sticking to the cameras or a defrosting feature aiding in managing factors that affect the cameras like snow. This change would also add two cameras to the Tesla Vision system. However, an unpredictable factor is that the Cybertruck currently features traditional mirrors instead of cameras, contrary to their announcement. Announcement. The performance of a car on the road heavily relies on the tires it's equipped with. In certain coupe models, cars commonly use standard wheel sizes ranging from 19 to 20 inches. However, the tire width makes a significant difference, especially as the sizes between the front and rear tires can differ by about half an inch. For instance, the rear tire width of the BMW i4 is 9 inches, while the front is 8.5. This will make the rear body lighter, helping to improve aerodynamics when the car is moving on the road. But when it comes to battery, CATL, the Chinese battery giant and a major supplier for Tesla, recently unveiled a new battery product designed to address the limitations of electric vehicle charging and range. Dubbed as Shang Sing, this battery is capable of providing a fueling range of up to 250 miles in just 10 minutes. This breakthrough implies that in conjunction with Tesla's charging infrastructure in the US, one could travel from New York to Boston in just a 10 minute charging session. The issues of operating time and range for electric vehicles may no longer be the primary criteria for evaluating their performance. The future Model V is poised to witness the integration of these new battery technologies promising an exceptional evolution. Mass production of these batteries is anticipated to commence by the end of 2023, with shipping expected to begin in 2024. Uh. Overwhelming focus is is solving full self driving, so and, and that that's essential. And like that's really the difference between Tesla uh, being worth a lot of money and being worth basically zero. Good news for those who believe in ultrasonic sensors or radar, a factor that helps Tesla achieve full self driving capability in the future. 
The Model V can be detected with USS or radar equipment when we see a dot on the front bumper. Furthermore, in a previous disclosure, Hardware 4 will be equipped with an additional radar, and only this single device will support Tesla Vision technology in identifying and mapping localization combined with vision for the best operation of full self-driving technology. Elon Musk places significant value on Tesla's full self-driving program, considering it a pivotal key to the company's future value should autonomous capabilities come to fruition. Tesla isn't solely an electric vehicle manufacturer. It's a hub for technological advancement poised to become one of the most of the most lucrative revenue streams for the company. This focus on innovation beyond electric cars is pivotal to Tesla's multifaceted growth and potential dominance in the market. And in order to achieve this, and in order to achieve this, Tesla built its own self-driving system through real-world data collected by its fleet. The full self-driving technology has been operational for over three years now, with astonishing results as it has reportedly covered over half a billion miles, according to Elon Musk. That's a significant number, and by the time you're reading this, it might well have surpassed six to seven hundred million miles or even more. Even numerous Tesla models promise integration with with full self-driving 12, some even indicating versions of FSD with higher improvements except for the Model V. Tesla has shown significant efforts to enhance the camera quality in their existing electric vehicles through Hardware 3 via wireless software updates, particularly focusing on image quality improvements in low-light environments. While Hardware 3 primarily addresses the computational power of the FSD feature, Hardware 4 not only encompasses a crucial update to the full self-driving, but also includes an entire sensor suite in its technical specifications. It appears that Tesla has silently implemented Hardware 4 without an official declaration. This clandestine approach possibly aims to prevent any adverse impact on the sales of existing models lacking the updated hardware. Notably, one of the connectors on the circuit board is specifically marked as reserve, indicating potential for future integration of either an additional camera or a high-resolution radar sensor like Arby's Phoenix capable of a range extending up to 300 meters. Such an inclusion would substantially augment Tesla's situational awareness, particularly in adverse weather conditions such as fog, rain, or snow when paired with Tesla Vision, thereby bolstering the vehicle's self-driving capabilities with heightened precision. Looking ahead, whether it's Hardware 4 or a potential Hardware 5 according to Tesla's roadmap, this evolution could extend to forthcoming product lines like the Model V. The advancements in both software and hardware are poised to further captivate Tesla's customer base toward these newer models. Notably, these advancements won't be retrofitted into older models due to the challenges in design and limitations concerning additional camera placements. This strategic enhancement is likely to amplify interest and demand for Tesla's latest product lines, emphasizing a technological edge and driving forward their market presence. The overall design is indeed regarded as promising, especially given the incorporation of innovative technology and the strategic approach taken by Tesla in their hardware deployment. The subtle but substantial enhancements indicate a forward-looking strategy that could significantly impact the future of autonomous driving technology. So how exactly would Tesla implement this plan? Tesla's mission is to expedite the transition to sustainable energy. Offering affordable electric cars is at the core of their mission. It's truly a success story, as Tesla redirected the company's focus from selling a sports car, the Roadster, to a more practical sedan in the Model S. Later, the Model 3 was promised at $35,000, although the initial release price was over $52,000. It's currently being sold at $38,990, slightly higher than the original plan due to economies of scale and minor feature cuts. However, it's undeniable that the initial comprehensive plan has significantly impacted the automotive industry as a whole look at the latter part of Elon's overarching plan, you can see one of the main objectives is expand electric vehicle product lines to cover all major segments. This means Tesla aims to create various types of vehicles, including electric trucks, crossovers, coupes, and hatchbacks. Furthermore, by planning to expand manufacturing plants in several countries like Germany, India, Mexico, and even expanding facilities in China, where there's an enormous battery supply, perhaps some vehicle segments 
were included in the construction plans after the factories completed the construction of production infrastructure. One of the ways to achieve global leadership in the electric vehicle market is to have a strong presence in different regions of the world. That's why the company is investing in building new manufacturing plants in countries such as Germany, India, and Mexico, as well as expanding its existing facilities in China by of batteries. These plants will not only produce the current models of vehicles, but also introduce new segments that will cater to the diverse needs and preferences of customers around the world. Of course, success for Tesla was never a foregone conclusion, and they've had to overcome numerous challenges along the way. So what challenges did Tesla encounter in their plans? No recent automotive company has achieved rapid growth quite like Tesla. Arguably, this car manufacturer has been the driving force in the electric vehicle industry for the past decade. Tesla has managed to lead the global electric car market by introducing appealing and competitive models at the right place and time, setting a benchmark when it comes to electric vehicles. However, all swift success comes with restraints. Even though we live in a globalized economy, the ongoing trade tensions among countries are leading to increased localization, making regulations stricter to safeguard the entire industry. Hence, importing and exporting cars has become more challenging. Tesla currently operates four manufacturing facilities worldwide, including two in the US, one in China, and one in Germany. When Tesla aims to enhance its global presence, they must build additional manufacturing plants in those markets. Moreover, the main challenge is a strong dependency on the Chinese market. One third of Tesla's global output in the first half of 2023 was directed to China. Their partial reliance on battery technology and the market there might impede their transition. Domestic car manufacturers have released various car segments that have affected Tesla's sales. In China, there are over 170 domestic electric vehicle brands, primarily competing directly with Tesla's product lines. The challenge presents Tesla with the need to sustain appeal and profitability in other segments like trucks and small cars. Nevertheless, the future production line of the Model V might continue to face hurdles. How do you feel about this plan from Tesla? And what are your hopes for the new Model V in the future? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show Show us some love by smashing the like button, subscribing, spreading the word, and ringing the bell to get notified of new, exciting episodes. Thank you so much, and until next time, stay safe and drive responsibly.